24 votes that don't like our video. And you can read the people in the YouTube uh, comments saying how wonderful it is. If you hate machines so much, stop driving cars and walk everywhere. Stop using computers too, which is wrong with technology advancing the point where it makes its own decisions based on sound logic. People want the godlike power of driving 100 miles per hour, even though the test to do so in short series of vision tests and about a mile of Sub supervised driving. I don't even know what this person means. This is hardly the safest system. See, it's all about safe, 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 safe. Oh, Virgin Galactic shouldn't have humans in it. It's dangerous to innovate. It's dangerous. We should shut them down. We want to just wear different colored socks that don't match and, 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 and be trendy all day and, and walk around and accept everything. Now, it's a minority of people saying this, but yes, if, if the technology gets really safe... And you want to be able to switch to driverless autopilot and do that, that's fine. But people are already using GPS and driving off cliffs and driving into rivers by the hundreds a year dying. The issue is the globalists that run the system admit they're setting it up to disempower humans ahead of depopulation. This is a scientific military rollout on record. Do you get that through your head? And your response and your answer is yes, there are too many of us. Like you're pretending you're part of the elite because you've adopted whatever they want you to do. They see you as idiot, schmuck, moron, sucker, idiots. They see you as just total fools. You think you're part of it. It's like the devil's knocking on your door. And you're like, oh, hi, devil, I'm your friend, I'll open the door. Ah. And then the devil sticks a pitchfork in you and you go, why'd you do that? I liked you. You people are pathetic. You're helpless. And you're all going to UT or other universities, and 92% of you are never going to get a job that will pay it off. There is no future for you. A, a world's being designed without humans. I'm going to say this again, jackasses, and I'm sorry to use that term, but it's the only parlance that fits. A world is being designed without you on record, and you're ushering it in, begging for it, and going, my gosh, if we just got rid of old people, there'd be more positions for us. And we're going to send Joe Biggs back out with a petition to um, have folks above 55 be forced out of the workforce so they can get a job. And I am predicting that half of them will sign it to force 55-year-olds to lose their jobs. You could even throw in, give their pensions to them. They'll sign it because they are totalitarians. And they're so jellyfish, they don't even know it because they wouldn't they talk like this and walk around going, oh, I'm so cool. Oh, oh. So as long as you walk around going, oh, oh, everything's okay. You don't have to be intellectual. You don't have to be smart, historically informed, tough, inventive, aggressive, dynamic, everything that makes humans cool. No, you've just got to sit around going, oh, 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 I mean, I could do that. I could walk around and go, oh, I'm so smart. Uh, uh. I mean, it's pathetic. You people are a joke. You're chumps. You buy into everything. Sorry, Patty in Texas. Uh, tell folks... Uh, about uh, UT and the driverless cars. And then they take all the data that public research pays for and they give it to Google, the NSA NASA front, and they roll it out. Go ahead. Yeah, true. Uh, uh, the research, the major part of that research for driverless cars was done here in Austin, Texas, at the University of Texas Center of Transportation Research. And it was done under um, the head of the, the uh, center, uh, an engineer by the name of Dr. Frank McCullough. And um, the, the interesting thing about Dr. McCullough uh, that you, uh, you may already know is he has connections to the Saudis. He, if I remember correctly, he is the engineer who designed and built the largest airport, uh, um, at, at the time anyway, in Saudi Arabia. And um, the McCullough family still has connections to them. Um, well, there's been a lot of research going on about that. And I was aware of the fact that UT did some of the first studies on it over 30 years ago. What I'm getting at is, is that I wouldn't be against, I'm not against vaccines. I know they're a real technology. 
But the globalists don't want us to get clean, real vaccines. They don't want to tell us the pitfalls of, of, of clean vaccines. They have an agenda on record to hurt us. That's why I'm against it. I'm not against driverless cars if they get really safe in the future, except there's an agenda to force us out of our cars and to give us less for more. While the globalists you know, drive around in giant armored vehicles, this is social engineering and it's dangerous and we need to vote with our dollars while we still can to not go along with this. Thank you so much, Patty. Speaking of that, uh, let's get to this report with uh, Joe Beggs uh, where Austin Trendies sign a petition to kill children after birth up to age five. And it says it in the petition and the people read it and then sign it. And one woman gets upset and comes over and he explains, no, we're doing this to illustrate that there are real trends being promoted by pediatric journals to kill children up to age three or even five. And they say, well, the state will decide if their life has value. So when you hear this death with dignity business, if you're dying of a deadly brain tumor that's super painful or bone cancer, and you want morphine to a level that'll kill you, make you go to sleep, then you could have some laws where the doctors give you whatever's needed for the pain. The problem is they take something that sounds reasonable and the state comes in, and now in the Netherlands and other places, they're killing folks that are viable. They're now starting to do this here. This is the plan. This is death panels. This is deciding, oh, you're a 50-year-old veteran. You got kidney failure. We're not going to take care of you or get you a kidney transplant. Just go die. We're going to put you on a secret death list. That's what this is about. And Bill Gates and everybody's going around and giving these speeches about death panels where they say, we can hire 10 teachers. Uh, hire 10 teachers by not giving care to a patient. And so they introduced the idea that someone dies, you get something. As if, as if Bill Gates doesn't want to wipe out all you trendies. They hate you. I happen to know they respect me. I happen to know that the globalists respect people that fight them. And I don't want their respect. I could care less. These people are out of their minds. But I mean, I call it chumping. And you guys like to be punked. You like to be chumped. I don't mean our listeners, but the people in this video. It is a religion of just, well, I'm for it if the FDA says so. Ooh. Oh, they're so dangerous. And their ignorance and their weakness is so powerful. They have no life force. They have no will. They, they, they have no destiny. They, they just... They have just come here and they're hordes of weakness and they collapse one state and then like a horde of locusts, they fly to the next and land and then just start walking around bumbling in arrested development at about the sixth grade level, talking about how smart they are all day. I want to throw up. Let's go ahead and uh, go to this uh, staff sergeant, former staff sergeant Joe Biggs goes out and talks to the new enemy. The invincibly ignorant. And I want to be clear. He thinks and says, you know, a lot of them are really evil. I agree. Some of them have evil mindsets, but probably don't even know they're evil. More importantly, what's evil is their ignorance that they think submission to the system, compliance to the system is the way to go when the system is so bankrupt and evil and so complex and they can't even grasp it because it wasn't on Family Guy or Adult Swim uh, or if it wasn't in the little cutesy shop. Or, uh, let's go ahead and play the clip. I'm Joe Biggs with InfoWars.com here at the University of Texas in Austin. Now, there's a trend going around college campuses nationwide. It's all the new rave, post-birth abortions. A lot of you probably have never heard of that term. I know I hadn't until yesterday. Well, post-birth abortion is after the baby is born and up until five years old when it's able to make decisions or is self-aware, you can still kill the baby. Now, I know that seems shocking, why not? It's just a fetus. But there's a lot of college kids around the country who agree with killing babies up into the age of four or five. So I came out here today to find out whether or not UT agrees with post-birth abortion. Let's go see what happens. A lot of people, they have uh, botched abortions. <laughs> you know what that is? And what this is, is a post-birth abortion act of that Rachel Mano? If you want to sign it or not. But you can take a look over it and... I don't think that person's evil. Just, Thank just totally Thanks for compliant. No, I can't support stuff like that. Why can't you support stuff like that? 
That, that, that sounds awful. Yeah, it does, doesn't it? Yeah. All right, well, thank you for being that way. What an extremist. Hopefully more people agree that. That's the, more, the more the merrier. All right. We have to say thank you for not wanting to kill five-year-olds. we can help empower women. That's now a hero thing. Hey there, how's it going? Hi. You want to help empower women? <laughs> I'll just sign it. You'll just sign it? Okay. Well, it's all about empowering women. Drink some glyphosate. It'll empower you. I'm just signing paper. Nice suit. It seems like you're hot in there. Nah. Look cool, look cool. Yeah. Well, at least I'm alive. I made it. Yes. Yeah. Unlike these babies who are going to die. For this. But in what context? Can I read it? Uh, post birth abortion. Women who have botched abortions, sometimes they fail, and it's to give them the, uh, the ability to go on ahead and go through with it after the baby's been born. Oh. Uh, so, first of all, I can't even, I don't even have a comment.